Ladies and gentlemen, today I managed to obtain a person. He is in here, see? This is a person. Yes, I'm not bullshitting you. How does that work and why? Well, I'm going to explain this to you today. Let's get started to this episode of Bird Vlogs. You listen. Ladies and gentlemen, in this life, there are only two kinds of people. Which one are you? This plate, these two plates, represent the two types of people that we have on our planet. What do I mean? Well, the truth is that the difference is in our attitudes. That's right. There's two kinds of people in this world. And some of them are tough and some of them are soft. Let's take a look here at the soft one. If I make a gentle impression with my finger, it bends. If you are this type of person, then you are generally the type of person who is heavily affected by his environment, right? That makes sense. It could be because you are more emotional or more sensitive, or perhaps more open about your feelings. So is being tough always a good thing? Is it superior to be ah, immovable compared to being soft and weak? Well, here's the thing about life. Life doesn't care about how tough you are. Someday life is going to fuck all of us over at some point and challenge us. And let's see what happens then. If you are not in touch with your feelings, then this will be your fate. If you are one of those people pretending to be hard, pretending they don't have vulnerabilities, then this, this is going to be your fate. Now, I would describe myself as a caring and soft person. But don't mistake this for weakness, because I don't see myself as weak. Caring about things in life doesn't make you weak. Vulnerability can be a strength, you see. Life can be pretty difficult at times. It throws difficult challenges at us and difficult decisions that we have to make and that af affect us for the rest of our life. And to be honest, I think you, can, you and me can only survive those types of challenges if you are able to roll with the punches. Don't mistake softness for weakness. It's okay to be in touch with your feelings. In fact, it's very important. It's very important to acknowledge the fact that you have flaws. That you, just like any other human, has negative thoughts. We all do. And that you don't become apathetic and uncaring just because it's a defense mechanism for you. Nor that you tear down other people because they still have a sense of care left in them. That's the message of today. Those trying to act the hardest can be the most fragile. And I can talk from experience. Many years ago, when I was in my teenage years, 
I never talked about my own feelings. I was emotionally very shut in. Whenever I felt bad or insecure, I never approached my friends to talk about it. It's only in my recent years, I don't know why. Maybe I've become more mature, or maybe it's because of YouTube. It's only in the recent years that I'm starting to open up and talk more about my feelings and not starting to act like some kind of emotionally invulnerable person because those type of people really don't exist. And I feel a lot better now since I carry my heart on my tongue, since I'm able to speak out about things that bother me. I have become a lot stronger than I used to be. And I urge everybody watching my channel to do the same. <laughs> Thank you and goodbye.